Brooklyn. And I'm Charlie, and we're bringing you the news from the 007 studio. The guidance office is offering students to, the chance to join a small group for counseling to help restore your balance. You'll learn how to handle stresses that happen during your day through skills like mindfulness, gaining perspective, positive self-talk, and more. The groups will meet once per week during WIN. They'll begin October 24th and run through November 21st. To register, contact Mrs. Johnson or Mrs. Trepanier in the guidance office. Space is limited, so register soon. Campus Ministry would like your help with a new Cecina hymnal project. The plan is to, to develop a new hymnal for use in the chapel, and Mr. Potts wants your input by the end of the month. Seek the Canvas announcement for more information and a link to the survey. It's Hispanic Heritage Month. This year's theme is Latinos, driving prosperity, power, and progress in America. Throughout the month, we're featuring various students and staff who can provide perspectives on Hispanic heritage. Today, we hear from a student. What does Hispanic heritage month mean to you? You know, it means a lot to me. It gives me the opportunity to represent my culture and, you know, just be a part of who I am. Uh, thank you for your time. Gracias. Thanks for sharing your thoughts with us. Let us all appreciate Hispanic contributions through in the culture. College visits will start Thursday. Many colleges will have reps as a senior to speak with interested students during when. Juniors and seniors may go to the Naviance website to sign up to attend any of these presentations. You must sign up to attend. Now to Isaias for today's clubs. Thanks, Brooklyn. The gaming club will meet Monday after the school in room five. Contact Mr. Black with any questions. That's it for today's clubs. Now back to Charlie for more news. Calling all seniors who are preparing to take the SAT on October 11th. Cecina is hosting free intensive review sessions for SAT topics in both math and English. Math reviews will be held this Tuesday and the next one from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. in room 221. English reviews will be held this Thursday and next from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. in room 219 for the next two weeks. An additional English study session will be held on October 7th from 9 to 10.30 a.m. Seniors will need to register in advance for this one-of-a-kind Saturday session. Please see Ms. Wetzel to register for that session by October 6th at 3 p.m. The theater department is putting on a Blockhouse Bistro fundraiser event. It will be held Saturday at 7 p.m. in the Cecina parking lot. Theater students will perform a variety show full of various songs and scenes. Pay what you want, all donations help. Please bring your own camp chairs. All proceeds will go towards buying a tickets to the National Broadway Tour production. Help send our Cecina theater students to a professional show. The music department will put on its annual sacred music concert at Little Flower Catholic Church on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Cecina's beginning and advanced choirs will perform. Admission is free, so make plans to come enjoy a night of praise and worship. Now to Jacob for today's sports. Thanks, Charlie. Last night, the girls' soccer team beat Crispus Axe 3-2 in the first round of the city tournament. The team is now 5-6 and six overall and still 1-3 in, in conference. The boys' soccer team lost to Arsenal Tech 3-2, also in the first round of the city tournament. They are now 5-8 and eight overall and still 3-3 three and three in conference. Tonight, the football team will play at Lutheran at 7 p.m. It's another big matchup this week for your, for your Crusaders. The Crusaders are 4-1 and one and rank 7th in Class 2A. Lutheran is 5-0 and oh and rank 1st in Class 1A. Good luck, Crusaders. Tomorrow, the boys' tennis team will compete in the city tournament at Riverside Park at 9 a.m. The varsity volleyball team will also play at the Speedway Invite also at 9 the girls' soccer team will play at Heritage Christian in the city tournament quarterfinals at 1 p.m. Good luck to our, to our teams competing tomorrow. In other sports news, the wrestling team is looking for some smaller guys to compete in the lower weight classes. The weight classes that are needed are 106, 113, 120, 126, and 132. No experience is necessary. Contact Mr. Mangan if you're interested in joining the team. Now back to Brooklyn and Charlie for more news. Thanks, Jacob. If you're looking for a part-time job, the Daring Cleaners at 1160 North Arlington is looking for help. Hours are 3.30 to 5.30 Monday through Friday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The pay is $10 per hour and you get paid weekly. Apply in person if you're interested. Now it's time for a verse of the day. This one is from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. That's a really famous verse from the Bible. Yeah, it's really encouraging. Now let's head outside to John for today's forecast. Thanks, Brooklyn. We always start talking about fall when we start coming back to school. 
But today is actually our final day of summer. With that in mind, it's fitting that today we're seeing a high of 85 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds. Your game time temperature should be hovering around 80 degrees, so expect a warm night for football. For our first day of fall tomorrow, we still see a warm high around 80 degrees with sunny skies. Sunday will be similar with a mix of sun and clouds. Enjoy the summer-like weather, Crusaders. We should be back down in the 70s next week. Thanks, John. It's getting real hot. Yeah, the football game is going to be hot again tonight. Now it's time for our lunch menu. Today we'll have a cheese or combo pizza with mixed vegetables. On Monday, it'll be a barbecue rib sandwich with carrots. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change based on availability. Now let's see who's celebrating a birthday today and over the weekend. Bah. Happy birthday. 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 Yoo-hoo. Oh yeah. We asked, you answered. In this week's RG Poll of the Week, we wanted to know what your favorite superpower was, and the results are in. The top choice by far was invisibility, with 40% of the vote. Flying came in second with 17%. We had a tie for third with super strength and immortality to round out for top four. Teleportation was a distant fifth. Apparently, most of us would not want to be seen. Yeah, that got a lot of votes. Someone said they wanted the ability to shoot spaghetti from their fingertips. That's different. Someone else said they wanted to be able to drop an inconceivable amount of eggs on anyone's head at any moment. That would be crazy. Someone also said they wanted to be able to make the Patriots win the Super Bowl every year. That would be Zach McKenzie. It seems like they already did that. Yeah, I guess he'd need to be able to make Tom Brady immortal. Others mentioned being, being able to control time and having super speed. Yeah, and the ability to read minds. I'm not sure I'd want to have that ability. Anyway, thanks to all who responded. We had 172 votes for this one, our most yet. Look for another poll to drop in Monday's show. That's it for today's Red and Gold show. Stay classy. And give that little extra. 